Hey, hold up, Chase. Yo, what's going on, y'all, man? It's your boy Chase Vibes back with another video. As y'all can see from the title, today I'm going to be showing you how to make brass samples for Wheezy. I'm going to be breaking down one of these loops from my new loop kit called After Hours. It's going to be available on Drumify here soon. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. All right, y'all, so the loop is called Sold What, and this is what it sounds like. Yeah, real simple but uh basically what i went ahead and did uh for this was start off with this melody right here and we were in the key of f minor the bpm is 141 and after i did that i went ahead and sent it to the mitzvah channel i threw on a sketch cassette i went to the classic tape a little age i turned down the hiss all the way and i just have it on this setting right here and then i Press this little record button. I did option R if you're on Mac or control R or alt R if you're on Windows. Um, but yeah, then I went ahead and turned it into this right here. That's a WAV file. And then that's that just to kind of like save my CPU. And this is a, a trumpet slash horn out of Session Horns Pro uh, key switch. It's the full selection uh, session preset and so next up after that i went ahead and went into serum and i wanted to get like a cool like background like kind of just something ambient for the background uh it's this synth called magical girl out of my urgency serum bank that i got out with synthetic uh but this is what it sounds like what it sounds like together something nice and for the effects for that i went ahead and throw on an eq to eq some of the harsh sounds out then i went over to effect rack uh i went over to delays i went down to reverse echoes and then i also threw on a pan man to kind of shift it to the left to the right this is just the default this is the uh settings that i have for this then after that i wanted to add like a piano so i went ahead and went over to keyscape i uh, went to the wash preset and i turned up the reverb just a little bit to make it more you know what i'm saying ambient or whatever uh, but I went ahead and just came up with these root bass notes first, just F, F again on the three. And then right here, I have it go up to C and it has sounds like this. I just have this build up. This basically just repeats itself. something real nice and then after that i went ahead and went into my one shot kit that i'm also working on y'all know i've been working on this for a good little minute uh i went over to one of my like ambiences my atmospheres and i got this uh, atmosphere right here so this is what it sounds like together It was just a nice little like touch in the background. So after that, I went ahead and added this uh, texture as well right here. So without the textures and the atmospheres versus with it. Yeah, it really just helps complete the melody. Um, kind of like fill it up. So after that, I went ahead and went to splice because I felt like it needed another sound that I just couldn't like figure out. So I got this cool little like lead thingy right here. I have time it for the intro and then for the drop of the hook, I go ahead and like just let it go. I also chopped it up right here. And it goes back to slow. And then right here, it speeds up. This is what they sound like together.
All right, and then I felt like it needed like another really like deep low brass. So what I went ahead and did was just chop up this little section right here of this. And I just have it hit on the one of every uh, one and I just pitch it down. So we got this. Really just adds like a nice, you know what I'm saying, low end to it. And then basically after that, I went ahead and added one more uh, like brass switch up right here for the hook. As you guys can tell, I take out like the main brass and I leave it more open. But I go ahead and use the same like brass preset and I just create this nice little pattern right here. And that was that. And then for the second part of the hook, I bring back in our main uh, brass. All right, so that was our eight bar intro and now have a 16 bar hook and it's more full, there's more going on. And then for the verse, I kind of basically just open it up and I just create some like, I'm saying just some variety. It's just way more open. Then after that, I went ahead and turned it into a, all of this right here into a wave file. So that way I could kind of like mess around with the pitch and the BPM and stuff. So we got this. As you can see, I pitched it up 200 cents, which would be two uh, notes. So we go from F to G, G minor now. And I wanted to add like another like melody to it, but not like another melody. I just wanted to manipulate the sample that we already got. So I went ahead and chopped this eight bars right here. And then I copied it. I clicked this little thing right here. I did make unique a sample and then I basically just reversed it. And then after I did that, I went ahead and just chopped it up in four little bars. So that way I could switch it around like this. And bam, after I did that, that just had the like the bass root notes like follow each other instead of it being reversed. Now it like follows each other. So now it's G instead of like whatever other note that it would be. So it would match like our melody. So went ahead and reversed it and I pitched it up one octave and now it sounds like this. It's just totally different. And I also processed it a lot. So I put an EQ on it, EQ some of the harsh sends out. I put a half time on it. I also put portal on it. I use the sharpen crystals preset out of Steven Schaefer's um, Illusions Portal Bank. Then I also threw on effect rack and I went to the modulation presets and the spinning about. And then I also went to this new plugin that I've been using uh, called like the B360 stereo quad or whatever. I don't really know what this does. It just kind of like moves like your sound, like tucks it in the back or in front. Like you just move it wherever you want basically. So I've been fucking with that a lot. Uh, but yeah, after I did that, I went ahead and just left that there for like the hook and then this bridge section over here. So we got this versus with it. Nice little part in the background. And then for the bridge, we got this open with it. And then I went ahead and highlighted all these again. I went to the master. I turned it into a wave file again. And this is what we got right here. And then after that, I went ahead and highlighted all of the wave files right here. I turned it into another, like just one strict wave file again, so I can kind of mess around with the key. Long story short, we went ahead and got a sharp minor. Uh, this is the one that I decided to go with. I played with like different BPMs. We're at 141 BPM is where I decided to keep it at. Just whatever, like I felt like would be the best bounce for the loop, but this is the, the final product. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. That's how to make a brass sample for Wheezy. Uh, once again, this is a loop going to be out of my new After Hours Loop Kit available on drumify.com here in the next about week. 
um yeah i love you guys thank you for watching the videos if you want to support me in any way make sure to go get my kits on drumify.com uh and yeah i'm out